Now, in these regards, its useful way of thinking of, about cities is by way of their broad constituent characteristics, um, somewhat analogous in a way to Abercrombie's London Mars plan, which I'm showing you as an underlay here. And here I'll be speaking about the, a broad concept of urban intensity, defined as you see here with a sort of rough equation by density, um, diversity, degrees of connectedness, and a certain amount of compactness. Not only that, but I think we would probably quickly arrive at the uh, conclusion to favour conditions of relatively high density, relatively high diversity, high degrees of connectedness, and compactness, for the simple reason that this combination seems, I think, most likely to yield virtuous outcomes with regard to resource consumption, for example, economic opportunity, social integration, and of course, environmental performance. Now, clearly though, it's not all linear. Um, this is, uh, th th these images here are talking about density uh, of various kinds, and also illustrating, I hope, on the right-hand side anyway, that it can also relate in overcrowding, if it's too much of it, and dilapidation uh, with subsequent um, social costs associated with that with very, that are relatively high. Likewise, if we come to diversity, it's not strictly linear either. Um, on one hand, we find grains of different mixes of use, for example, if we think of it that way, perform well, as in the Manhattan example on the left-hand side. However, when companies, uh, or where economies of scale, in fact, are, are required for superior economic performance, in the case in this, uh, on the right-hand side of an automobile manufacturing plant in Wuhan in, in China, too much diversity, in other words, spreading all that around, would in fact be extremely costly and not very effective. And by the way, much the same can probably be said about socioeconomic diversity, although there too much lumpiness, if you like, can lead to separation and even to a ghettoization of particular constituents of a population. Now with connectivity, clearly uh, access by way of good uh, connections uh, uh, benefits diversity, of course, and density, and it realizes it can be realized very much uh, in a favorable manner by uh, the transit systems, and probably the most dense one I know of is the one I'm showing you here, which is in Tokyo. However, overinvestment leading to redundancy can also be very costly, as can rather poor integration between, not the case actually in Tokyo, but rather poor integration between uh, the transit system, even though it might be fairly extensive, and the uh, subsequent land use uh, associated with that can, of course, lead to a costly circumstance. Now, to illustrate this concept of urban intensity, I'd like to consider this sort of hypothetical case, schematically shown by these three rather kind of dumb models, A, B, and C. Uh, one you can sort of see is monocentric, the middle one is kind of polycentric, and the one on the right-hand side is linear, with some assumptions regarding the uh, distribution, shall we say, of population and use characteristics. And as good research uh, would have it, there are ways empirically, of course, of estimating performance across these four dimensions uh, of urban intensity, as I'm sort of showing you here with the arithmetic, and in this case, the middle. Uh, uh, example, number B, the polynucleated configuration, is the one that appears to perform best. 